Welcome to section 16 of Parasites. This is our parasite overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Trichinella spiralis, which you can see right here. This scene will take place on a spiral entrance to an amusement park. As you can see, this little girl is pretty excited as she rides up the spiral-shaped pathway on her tricycle. Tricycle sounds like Trichinella, and spiral sounds like spiralis. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that this image is all about Trichinella spiralis. This is an amusement park, so we naturally decided to add some fun rides to this merry-go-round. This is our recurring symbol for roundworm, so it should help you remember that Trichinella spiralis is a roundworm, or nematode. If you've ever been to an amusement park, you probably remember about 8 million little food stands charging you an arm and a leg for one molecule of food, right? To bring back those glorious memories, we've shown Peter's pork stand here off to the side of the image. If you look at his stand, he likes to show off a bunch of raw, fresh pork to his customers. The raw pork is here to help you remember that Trichinella spiralis is transmitted through undercooked meat, especially pork. This customer was walking over to buy some pork when she accidentally stepped in a pile of poop that's now smeared all over her shoe. That's the worst. In any case, this is here to help you remember that Trichinella spiralis also exhibits fecal oral transmission. Peter seems to be a pretty nice looking guy with his thumb up and trying to attract customers. However, he has some pretty shady business practices, such as dumping his meat into the stream nearby. Look at that bloody stream that's draining into the sewer. Pretty gross. Hopefully nobody is drinking the water at this amusement park. Anyway, the pork that's emptying into the stream and making it bloody should make you think of larvae entering the bloodstream. So Trichinella spiralis enters the intestines and then disseminates into the bloodstream. You'll also notice that we've shown bricks next to this bloody stream. The bricks appear striated because there is cement in between each block, and this should make you think of striated muscle. So once Trichinella spiralis has disseminated into the bloodstream, it travels to muscle tissue where encysted larvae infect striated muscle tissue. This is an image of striated muscle tissue infected with Trichinella spiralis. You can see the encysted larvae, for example, right here. Once the parasite has reached the muscle tissue, it causes muscle inflammation and myalgias. To help you remember this, we've shown fire next to the striated bricks. So think of the bricks as a symbol for muscle tissue, and the fact that they're next to a bunch of fire should make you think of muscle inflammation. The fire started because this guy got super upset with his phone. It wasn't working very well, so he decided to break it, and the sparks from this incident made the phone and nearby bushes catch on fire. All right, now let's turn our attention back to the little girl on the tricycle. You can see that we've added some heat lamps next to her on the spiral-shaped ramp. This is here to help you remember that Trichinella spiralis may cause a fever. If we zoom up on the girl, you can also see that she has a little stuffed toy minion with a prominent eye that she purchased from the amusement park. The eye is so large that it takes up the vast majority of the toy's volume. So you could say that the eye and surrounding structures are excessively large, just like in a patient who may have periorbital edema. This should help you remember that Trichinella spiralis may also cause periorbital edema. This is an image of periorbital edema. And as you can see, this patient has inflammation and swelling around the eye right here. If we zoom back out, notice that we've shown a little boy who is vomiting. He just got off of the merry-go-round and got super dizzy. It was his first time ever experiencing this kind of motion, which made him nauseous, and now we can see him throwing up. So this little boy is here to help you remember that Trichinella spiralis may also cause nausea and vomiting. Finally, remember the guy who started that fire because he got upset with his crappy phone? Well, just like in our other images, the bent phone should help you remember that Trichinella spiralis is treated with bendazoles. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 23-year-old male presents to the physician due to calf pain that he first noticed one week ago. Yesterday, the pain was so severe that he was unable to walk. He denies any recent change in activity. Physical examination is significant for periorbital edema and muscle tenderness over the posterior aspect of the left leg. A muscle biopsy is obtained and shown below. This patient most likely developed the infection after A, consuming undercooked pork, B, larvae penetration of the skin, C, exposure to the exodes deer tick, or D, surfing in a tropical area. Okay, hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this patient has calf pain, periorbital edema, and a muscle biopsy has shown a spiral-shaped organism within the muscle tissue, which you can see right here. This is diagnostic for Trichinella spiralis, so the correct answer is A consuming undercooked pork. From the image, recall that the striated bricks right here should help you remember that the organism infects the muscle tissue where encysted larvae may be seen. Also, the pork shop right here should help you remember that Trichinella spiralis is transmitted via undercooked meat such as pork. B is describing Strongyloides stercoralis, but this infects the lungs and gastrointestinal tract, so myalgias and an organism seen on a muscle biopsy would be unlikely. So B is incorrect. C is referencing several organisms such as Borrelia burgdorferi, Anaplasma, or Ehrlichia. 
However, these organisms do not directly infect muscle tissue, so a muscle biopsy would not show a spiral-shaped parasite in the muscle tissue, so C is incorrect. Finally, D is a reference to Leptospira interrogans, which is spiral-shaped and does often present with myalgias. However, a muscle biopsy would not reveal spiral-shaped larvae within muscle tissue, so D is incorrect. So again, the correct answer is A, consuming undercooked pork. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about Trichinella spiralis.